It's been parked here for at least 15 years. 15 years. In this very spot, it hasn't moved. Welcome back to the Lost Cause Ranch. Going after another car. Got the power wagon, got Ted hooking up the trailer behind us. We have a nearly eight hour one way trip to Michigan to pick one up. And today it's not a Land Rover. You'll get that in a minute. This place has got it going on there. We got a restaurant, a Taco Bell, Popeyes, and a Burger King. So many options. Another milestone here. We got the power wagon, and there's a gas station, and we don't have to fill up. What? So here's Ted, happy as a lark. Here's his new rover. That right there is a 109, not a North American one. That'll go perfect with Ted's, I guess now you can call it a 2A collection. Two, two makes a collection, right? But no, here it is. We're gonna work on getting it loaded up and we'll take a better peek at what we drove eight hours for. Surprisingly, when we were looking at it, tires were deflated, they aired up. So it is stuck now. So hopefully we can get it to roll I was gonna strap it up. We're gonna try and yank it back. I wanna try and load this thing forward if we're going that far back. Guess for the aerodynamics. I love that you guys are gonna do something with this. That's worth saving. There's a lot of people that really still want it after you. They, I've got 13 guys that are waiting wait that said line. if they don't take it, call me <laughs> back. I'm like, I gotta call you in the order that happened, but. No, we appreciate that. All right, so this thing rolled surprisingly well. That was its uh, resting place for like 15 years. Got a bundle of leaves. So we should be able to get this thing onto the trailer a lot easier than expected, which is always nice. That doesn't always work out that great. And unlike the red one, being this thing rolled, we didn't have to worry about breaking it in half because this one also has a great frame. As they do. Otherwise, I wonder if I snatch block it off the corner of the trailer and drag the trailer. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> It actually steers too. It steers. Start it up. Drive yeah. it up. <laughs> Should have tried charging the battery. Yeah. I already thought of that. It's been parked here for at least 15 years. 15 years. In this very spot. It hasn't moved. Um, and I know when it was parked here, he drove it. He had it playing around in the neighborhood and stuff. Um, never registered it, but he did. It was running when he got it. All right, so we're working in a confined space here. We're gonna use the winch with a snatch block there to that tree and pull the trailer that way so we can get a better angle with the rover. Love it, when a plan comes together. I don't even need power steering. We're going for the first ride.
<laughs> running out of juice. Keep going. Keep going. Is that far enough forward or are you going to end up a little more? So you want me to throw it in gear again and back it off or? Sure. For some reason the brakes don't work. So we'll put her in gear. Got some levers. What's that? Oh, we got our compass. What direction are we going? I'll buy it off you. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs> this might be a possibility. <laughs> I mean, this is going to have to be like a zero interest loan for <laughs> five years. That right there is what we like to call the hook to hook. Special technique. I was just informed that he aired these tires up three days ago and they're still holding air. It's been zero degrees here. I think those are almost roadworthy. So being we're traveling a few miles home, we gotta figure out how to secure this guy so we don't lose her on the trip. A few. <laughs> Just by the one in my hand. <laughs> That's what I use. That's what I use. Yeah. Oh, you're still going. I'm still Shit. going. We got eight hours home. Got to make sure she stays. <laughs> it's only speed rated to 200, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. We gotta, we'll keep her, keep her reasonable. So, all loaded up. We're just about ready to hit the road, but we have one thing left to do before we can take off. It's official. You know, someone closer could have came Monday or something if they're really, really hot to trot. But there was uh, two guys that looked at it on Sunday, um, but neither one of them were at all remotely capable of the project. Well, that's it. Takes the right person, that's for sure. Yeah. See, you all know the disaster that would have been if I attempted that. Good thing Ted's doing it. I would have hit everything. That tree, the house. But, ready to load up. We're gonna hit the road. In the old power wagon. 55 years old, sitting for 15 years on the way to the ranch. Run some tape on it. So you happy, Ted, with your no. new purchase? No. Buyer's more. <laughs> ah, it's perfect. Found a buyer. Though. We're gonna hit up some big boy. Get us a burger. Isn't she pretty? This thing's worlds better than the last 2A Ted bought. So when we bought the red one and we stopped for food, the engine was falling out of the red one. Look at that, it's still in place. It's a gem. So here my entire life I've been using normal duct tape. Ted just turned me on to this Gorilla stuff. Look at how clean that tears. Amazing. In the beginning I was very reluctant because I was blown. Well this thing's kinda cool. You peeps in Michigan yeah. get all the cool stuff. That's a manufacturer plate. 
But that's a new Bronco Raptor. Look at the wide boy. What if that top's falling out? few hundred miles from home and it's still in one piece. Head noted, it has the same effect as the red one. The one tire's a little flat on the bottom. got number 475 out of 811 nada 109s here nada north american with a little bellevue winch isn't that cool um but as we were unloading it you know drove it back eight hours on the road quite a trip like 500 and some odd miles that wasn't bolted down made the trip kind of surprising but here she is in all its glory we've got the squirrel house she's all nutted up excited to have that back here and we're adding that to ted's 2a collection he finally bought one with the headlights in the right spot um but either way it's eight degrees out windy and I'm too cold to go through this. So we'll get this guy inside and we'll give you a good peeksy at what it's all about on the next one.